Welcome everyone, this is Kremble from Emotional Crypto Trading. Today I would like to introduce you in my new video series, which are daily videos on technical analysis right here about multiple cryptocurrencies in every single video. So we're going to try to put videos every day about multiple cryptos, talking about on possible price movements, probabilities, predictions, data, which is hiding behind the technicals and all these things that are very, very important. Straight to the point, a comfortable video uh, with easy to understand technicals. I'm not going to introduce anything that is um, complicated or advanced from trading perspective. I'm just going to keep all these things very, very simple. So just let me introduce you my private coaching before we get started on scramblecoaching.com. You can find out more on how to become a professional traders from A to Z. This is this video explaining right here uh, and you can see more about it as well, how it works and all these things on the page. Uh, so far, we had 78 students delivered 780 lessons and everyone has completed more than 1000 trades. So people are doing fine. Beautiful. You can find out a link down below in the description area or scramblecoaching.com. Let's get back to our stuff. Daily videos, BTC and Litecoin is our subject for today. We're changing this. We might have three cryptos in some videos. We might have BTC, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash, or Ethereum, BTC, and Litecoin, or Ripple, Litecoin, and BTC. So we'll just keep changing them and keep introducing more and more by trying to keep you up with the data in order to be successful in your trading experience and know what's going on in market. Beautiful. So today, as you can see, the market is still suffering from the percentage of the last 24 hours perspective. Even though that's not a clear indicator, it is still not in the way we would like to see by the color perspective. Some people like to see a red column right here in the change 24 hours in order to go along with the market at the right time, which is the case on part as well. I like to see bearish numbers in order to look out for a bottom and then buy into the bottom to go uh, along from that perspective, uh, which is great. If it's already a day when everything is spiking, then we would have to consider for shorting the market. Exactly the opposite. This is how trading works, guys. This is how trading works. You have to look for the tops and you have to look for the bottoms. Once you have these two things, you know exactly what is happening in the market and how to make money out of it. So you're kind of doing exactly what the others are not doing, which is great. Uh, market cap 280 billion, nothing special around it. Just the fact that it has decreased below 300 billion and it's still finding a very, very high support on 280 from previous data we have supported 280 we're going to see how that's going to react if from today we're going to spike up back to 11 and 12 thousand dollars for the btc or just going to fall below 10 thousand and then we're entering into a dangerous area for the future which is not going to be great so 24 hours volume is 83 billion dollars that again is slightly over the average due to the fact that we had large movements in the last 24 hours that did represent powerful uh, decreases for the Ethereum. Take a look at that. It has $10.5 billion Ethereum alone with an 8.4% decrease in the price for the last 24 hours, which is very, very meaningful. Along the way with Bitcoin Cash, which is suffering today, having no ability to survive above the $300 level. Uh, going towards to the technicals, which is probably the most exciting part, is right here. What we have today and where we are is just within this little uptrending channel that you can see. It starts from here, where the price is 9,900, and that is the possible next bottom for the BTC paired up with the US dollar. Attention, we're looking at the daily 15 minute candlestick, which is great for day trading. Now, looking at this structure, you can clearly see how the blue line is defining a horizontal review uh, resistance. Sorry, so it's clearly making a 10,350 resistance line, just like that, exactly where we had a couple of troubles a few minutes ago breaking out. 
on the other side we have the channel uptrending support line the uptrending support line if you look at the arrow which is red and it's pointing downwards it tells us if a breakout is happening here then you have to shorten the market as we're going down if a breakout is happening here you have to long the market as we're going up these are the two ways you can trade the BTC market today on the other side you're going to reach to a point where you're going to find the downtrending channel resistance trending line and here you might expect resistance so that means you can short the market from here as soon as the resistance appears after you have closed your long entry you short the market from there if a breakout is happening you're gonna go along with the market from here right so this is very basic and easy technical analysis that you guys can make tons of money out of it and it's very very great if you know how to do this personally uh, not in a basic way but in a very advanced way which is a little bit more complicated and the probabilities for you to succeed are very very high on long term right so this is how i would trade the current situation of the market with careful looking at eleven thousand dollars zone right here for possible next resistance appearing again a place from where i could short the market if there is no consolidation around that zone on the other side there's a couple of things which are looking pretty interesting such as the downtrending channel which is very very powerful till our current bottom which is right there and it does represent 20 percent movement guys so btc have increased in the last two days and three hours 20 percent which is insanely high in my opinion considering the volatility that would be necessarily for the consolidation of a longer phase increase in my opinion i would have accepted about 10 to 12 percent decrease during this period but never ever would have accepted 20 percent which definitely pushed the market quite down quite down so it was very very aggressive from this top till the current and the last bottom that we have during this structure this is the price difference now for those of you going with leverage trading for going with longs and shorts for doing margin trading uh, which is something we're teaching in a coaching program as well make sure you know how to put up your leverage in order to avoid the liquidations because you can see during two days and three hours or three days you might have a difference in the price of 20 25 30 percent so with that sort of a liquidation of four five x most of the times you're not secure with 25 percent 22 percent you're not secure in the market guys nowadays btc is very very volatile so it's quite hard from that perspective getting back we're looking at the two hour candlesticks this is swing trading guys and this is the current situation of the market you see how the uh, situation here is very very similar to the previous one we had a very very sharp downtrending resistance line of the channel very very sharp we had a market which crashed very aggressively i'm going to measure that it crashed 41 percent in five days now we have 32 percent in the last four days which is again very 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 meaningful for a high volume market that btc has now in this case scenario we got supported at 9800 and here we did add a very very clear long entry especially after the breakout another very clear long entry what happened right there is we have established a major trending resistance line and if the breakout is happening at some point the market can pull us up to fifteen thousand dollars very easily as we're going to enter in another phase of FOMO and people will dive into very very fast now until that there is a couple of things that needs to be understood we have a very very sharp repeated downtrending trending downtrending resistance line appearing right here take a look at that and we're trying to get closer and closer to it right now it's going to touch this at 10,700, right? So this is the place where we could expect resistance and then we have to short the market. 
or we're going to break out and we can go long on the market. These are the two possibilities and this is the place of trading for a secure type of trade. On the other side here in the bottom, of course, here we had a long entry and then below it here, as soon as we break below for some certain scenarios, we break below, make sure you short the market once you touch these prices with a very, very, very tight stop loss. And this is what you can do at this cases and in this specific scenario. On the other side, you should expect resistance appearing at 12,400 uh, at the current situation and current structure of the market, just like this. A possible scenario. If we break out of this, then we know we're going 50K as a probability, guys. So this is what is all about BTC for now, daily analysis. Tomorrow, we're gonna come up with the updated version of all these things. Let's take a look at a Litecoin paired up with a US dollar daily uh, technicals and day trading. Now, looking at the current chart and current situation, we have the structure which has a resistance trending line right here. And that's very clearly defined at the moment. While the little uptrending channel support line is still existing with very nice confirmation is this green one right here and it supports us. Now, the trade here is very simple. If we break below this line, then we have to short the market. If we go above till this point, we have to look for a shorting market here, shorting possibility. If we only break out of this resistance line, which is the resistance line of the structure, and we break above that, then we're gonna have to look after a long entry. Right, so until that with Litecoin, I would just wait patiently because that would represent a very clear entry of the bulls within the market as domination perspective. On the other side, we have here a clear resistance point which could push us down the way so you guys wanna look afterwards and make sure you are ready to exit out of your lungs and get into the shortings, get into the market uh, that could decrease so you can make some money with that as well. Going towards looking at the Litecoin against US dollar guys. Two hour candlesticks in this case scenario. So we're looking at swing trading. We have clear a $85 support zone with huge confirmations, very, very powerful movements by the market in the past. And right now here we have bunch of failed shorting movements, right? So the bears have failed multiple times. Therefore, we're expecting a long movement from here. This is an entry as soon as we get supported by the $85 support zone. If not, if we break below this, then we're going for a shorting of the market. So this is the crucial places we would have to handle. On the other side, we have 110, 113 resistance zone. This is where you can get out of your um, swing trade of long if you have already entered and we're there and you can short the market if you see that is applied or if we break out of this you can go long guys win the market again or keep continuing holding your long position because we broke out of the down trending channel resistance trending line which is very powerful and from here probably again we're going to retouch the 140 all-time high position of 2019 for litecoin it has double top here, very, very clear data of a upcoming crash. And by the way, I like to measure the, the differences between the BTC crash in a percentage way and the Litecoin crash. Now here we have this tool, which does tell us 20.4, right? In uh, what's that? Two days and three hours. So I'm going to look at exactly. This was from the top. This was What's that? 13 or 12, 12 July 2019. You can see the bottom right there. You can see the date right there on the bottom of the screen. 12 July 2019. We're going to go here and try and look at the data for 12 July and measure it. We're going to take the measuring info and see here's the 9. Here's the 12 July. 21.20%. So Litecoin had only a difference of 
1% more in the decrease than the BTC. And that tells us it is pretty, pretty oversold at this moment. If we would be to compare to the all time high position of 2019 from where it's already a correction of 63%. A lot of the people today are expecting that the BTC market and the altcoin market, considering the fact that it's also $280 billion market cap, is finally going to have the next bottom, which is going to push us above $13,000 for the BTC, prepared to go 15. And from there, we're just going to have to redeal with a lot of the resistances applied to the market, right? So we have to see if this 280 billion is keeping us pretty powerful and high, just like you can see in the altcoin market, this is the retracement of 63% overall already, which is insanely high. While the BTC, if we look at the longer term charts, we're going to see uh, the information on the info line that we have a retracement of 40%. Now, of course, BTC is way more stable long term than Litecoin or any other altcoin. You can see that 63 against 40% is quite a difference right there. Beautiful. So that's all about today's video presentation, guys. We're trying to make this type of things every single day in order to keep you updated with the price movements of the market probabilities where you would have to react to the market based on the movements and how you need to handle such a situations. Tomorrow, we're going to do other type of altcoins, other type of uh, cryptocurrencies. We're going to check the most important ones and get back to you. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to keep yourself updated with the latest things. We're putting out news, putting out details of the market, talk about ICOs, talk about projects which are interesting, doing technicals, a lot of the things here in the channel. Um, running this coaching program as well on scramblecoaching.com for the ones looking to become professional traders. Series about this. Make sure to take a look at that. Beautiful, guys. It's kind of all about for today. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, then hit that bell button after you get a notification from YouTube when I'm posting all these things. Put your thoughts in the comments area. Make sure you're engaging and active because that helps me to get a better ranking on YouTube, guys. So that's all about it. Let's spread the message. You can share the video. Talk to you soon. Have a great day out there.